and we are live. So um, thank you everybody for joining us today for our live chat with the Interact Advisory Council to celebrate World Interact Week. I'm Casey Jones. I uh, work at Rotary International in our programs for young leaders as our communication specialist. And I'm so grateful that you all are here with us today. I'm gonna pass it over to Camille, who's our chairperson for the Interact Advisory Council to kick us off today. Thank you so much for being here. Awesome, thanks Casey. Welcome and happy 60th birthday Interact. To celebrate World Interact Week, we are delighted to host a conversation with interactors from around the world who make up Rotary International's Interact Advisory Council. This year marks Interact's 60th anniversary. In today's chat, we hope you learn more about Interact, the Advisory Council, and gain inspiration for Interact's next 60 years. Let's jump right in and see who, who is here with us today. Please share where you're joining from by adding to the chat in the comments as well. And now for our panelists who make up Rotary International's Interact Advisory Council. My name is Camille. I serve as the chair of the council. I'm, curr I'm currently live in Canada uh, and I love the international connections that I've been able to make in Interact. Interact has changed my life and I'm so very excited to start this conversation with you all. Uh, Hia. Hi, I'm Hia, I'm from India. Speaking about Interact, I love that it is inclusive of everyone and fosters their talent. Amazing, China. Hi everyone, I'm Gina. I'm from the Philippines and I'm I'm a current interactor. It's my last year in Interact and I really love Interact and how it has opened opportunities for myself and so many other youth from around the world. And I'm happy to collaborate with every single person at that event. Amazing, Serbi. Hi everyone, my name is Serbi and I am a current interactor from the United States. I definitely love Interact from the way it's been able to give me and other interactors a platform to make such a huge international impact, as well as uh, help our local communities as well. Awesome. And Annie. Yeah. Hello, everybody. My name is Aniela. I'm from Venezuela, but I live in the United States. I'm an alumni of Interact, as well as all the other Rotary Youth programs. My favorite part about Interact is how am I able to create change, meaningful change, locally and globally. Fantastic. And we have other members of the council who unfortunately weren't able to join us today. And just to do a quick shout out, uh, Sarah from the US, Mustafa from Turkey, and Hannah from the US, you are all with us in spirit. Um, to jump right into it, let's start with our first question. First and foremost, we are all interactors or recent Interact alumni. With this year being the 60th anniversary of Interact, I'd love to start by talking about Interact's impact. Can a couple of you share what has been the biggest takeaway from your personal journey as an interactor and how has it shaped the person that you are today? Let's start with Hia. Thanks for the question, Kamil. I joined Interact when I was 14 and being the set formative years that teenagers, I naturally have been molded by it. Interact most importantly shaped my perspective. I think it has made me more open-minded and emphasized how even if resources might be limited, aspirations need not be. Every project's target audience that I've had an opportunity of working with has shown me how simple things in life can be strong motivators, be it merely a call from your friend or for some just receiving candies. So apart from that, it has exposed me to a host of skills that continue to help me grow and adapt to every phase more efficiently. Fantastic. Serbia, anything to add? Yes, of course. So I first joined Interact as a sophomore in high school, so not too long ago. And since then, I've been able to meet people from all over my state as well as all over the world. Um, aside from getting the opportunity to meet so many new people, my biggest takeaway has definitely been in seeing the strength and diversity of the Interact community. Individually, we all want to make a positive difference in the world. Being a part of Interact, teens like you and me are able to combine our passion for service to make an incredibly large impact. Some of my favorite projects to work on over the years have been advocating against human trafficking, supporting the Yemen crisis, servicing COVID-19 relief, and working on water accessibility in multiple regions. Being an Interact has shaped me as a person by teaching me to be grateful for the resources that I have, as well as encouraging myself and others to put service above self. That was amazing, thank you. Uh, moving on to the next question. As members of the Interact Advisory Council, Let's explain a little bit about more of what the council is and what it does. And so I can start. From a mandate standpoint, the council really has three pillars. 
The first is to provide recommendations for the most effective and sustainable structure for continued interact representation at Rotary International. Uh, that really means finding ways to ensure that the voice of interact is always represented to the decision makers of our organization and providing for longevity of bodies like this council to ensure that voice never goes unheard. The second is to create innovative programming that connects interactors from all across the world. That means finding real and tangible ways to build and expand the community of interact at a local and global level, whether this be in-person opportunities to come together or providing the tools and resources for interact champions to organize these opportunities. And the third is to further collaboration of interactors with road actors and Rotarians and advising on how to strengthen and encourage lifelong connections to Road International. This essentially means finding ways to ensure Interact is participating in the Rotary family and that we are using Interact as a platform to build lifelong global change makers. Um, but I'm curious, Hia, do you have anything to add to that? Yeah, sure. Um, I think of ISC as a platform for budding interactors who are also keen on making an impact globally. The council caters to youth needs and with the help of its members, comes up with sustainable provisions to ensure youth representation. So in a nutshell, we are a diverse group of people just trying to put forward our ideas and viewing different strategies and guidelines to facilitate creation of channels through which youth voice can re directly reach the board of directors of Rotary International. I could not agree more. Uh, moving on to our next question, what are some projects that the council is working on right now and what are you hoping to accomplish in the rest of this Rotary year? And let's start with Annie this time. So, so this is the second year of the council. During the first year of the council, we assess what's the status of Interact, what's the status of the program, and identify opportunities to increase its impact and enhance participant experience. One of the favorite, my favorite things that we did, we did a journey mapping of an interactor. How does it look like and how can we create the resources and opportunity to make it better? Um, we also had a joint meeting with the Leo advisory panel, which was a very, very exciting meeting. And we've been exploring other partnerships with other youth organizations. I hope that this year we are able to identify what are our key priorities for Interact and make sure that we're tackling them and we are making this program even more um, meaningful to young people all over the world. Yeah, absolutely. And I can't wait to get to work on that. Uh, Gina, anything you'd like to add? Yeah, I'd love to talk about the second year. We definitely have looked into continuing that conversation with partnerships with other organizations. And we've met twice in August and this in September, discussing, discussing our next steps in terms of social media strategy. We have considered using Instagram in order to target our audience better, the youth and their mentors. And we've also considered the current accessibility of the learning center in the My Rotary account, which is open to 16 years old and above, by the way. Um, how we can improve it, and just overall, how can we better support and give guidance to the interactors. And we hope to continue these initiatives and accomplish more for the interactors. So definitely let us know if there's anything that you would love for us to look into. Totally. We're always hard at work. Uh, the next question, looking to the future, what will be the enduring impact of the Interact Advisory Council? And Annie, let's go back to you. I love future. I love visioning. Um, this is one of my favorite questions, and I think we see the Interact Advisory Council as a first step to elevate youth voices um, and make sure that we feel empowered and included in the decision-making process that will shape the future of Rotary International, because we know that youth programs is definitely the future of our organization. So before, Rotary International didn't have input from participants, and we are that representation. Um, so hopefully the councils now, because there's the Interact Advisor Council and the Youth Advisor Council, we provide an opportunity for Rotary International to make decision, yeah, database decisions to make the programs, youth programs better and make sure that they are not just long lasting, but successful. And we are making a bigger impact in the world and young people. Awesome. Uh, Serbi, what do you think the enduring impact will be? As we move to the future, I hope the enduring impact of the Interact Advisory Council involves a lot of uniting Interact clubs all around the world. Interact clubs at the moment have the privilege of working on many projects individually with a lot of international impact. 
But as we move towards the future, I'm hoping that Interact Clubs will be able to work more collaboratively with each other on humanitarian issues spanning over multiple countries. With the council, I'm hoping that we will be able to manifest the means and the platform, as Sheena mentioned earlier, like with Instagram or with the Rotary website. I'm hoping that our council will be able to manifest the means to connect these clubs with each other. Yeah, I hope so too. Uh, and now talking about the future of Interact, you know, we've had 60 transformative years. Uh, I, what is the vision for the next 60 years and what it can be? Um, I know I personally am so excited for the next 60 years because I really see a world where Interact continues to grow in its membership and its reach and in its impact. I see a world where Interact is recognized as one of the powerhouse arms of our organization and clubs from around the world are consistently collaborating to put on life-changing projects. I would love to see Interactors completely integrated into road international conventions, Interact leadership having roles at the zone level and presidents being invited to different training events. I would. I would hope that in the next 60 years, Interact becomes this well-oiled machine that is making an impact on the world never seen before by any group or organization of young people. And I really have faith that all this could be achieved, but I just hope that I'm around long enough to see it all come to fruition. Um, but I wanna hear more from Serbi. What, what do you think? I definitely agree with what Camille is saying. I'm sure that Interact will definitely move forward to be one of our most recognized organizations in the world in terms of our humanitarian impact. Um, and with so many districts all around the world, we've been able to work on a multitude of humanitarian projects, many even cooperating with Rotary Clubs around us or internationally. And with this, we've seen a lasting impact in many both local and international communities. As we move towards the next 60 years of this organization, my vision that I'm sure that many others will strive towards as well involves working collectively on international humanitarian issues. Similar to how we all know Rotary Clubs around the world have been able to unite around the world to eradicate polio, I'm hoping that in the next six years, we will be able to work on more long-term interact projects and perhaps even form sister clubs internationally as means of uniting even more people around the world. Totally. Uh, and moving on to one of our final questions, uh, what can your fellow interactors do to help achieve this future vision for Interact? Uh, and here, let's hear from you first. I think this is such an important aspect in relation to what we are trying to achieve. Greater number of interactors working at different levels of Interact can be the driving force for attaining maximum youth representation. All of us need to be united and work together with different clubs, maybe within our districts or other countries' districts. RILAs and MBIOs being one of the mediums to collaborate with other interactors. By exploring opportunities and participating in initiatives of Rotary International, can we build a stronger network and community all over the world? In the end, I'd only want more people to have the opportunity of living through the glory of an interact journey like all of us have had. So let's motivate others to join in and celebrate this legacy. Yeah, absolutely. Annie. Yeah. So Interact is a platform to create change. I, as a council, we invite all the interactors to seek opportunities in your communities and globally to solve problems and do what we do best, create meaningful service projects, do more increase your impact increase your reach make sure that you are seeking all the opportunities to get involved locally and international you as an individual interactor what can you do what groups can you join there are a lot of opportunities in rotary international there are rotary international um rotary action groups there are fellowships there are international group of interactors and you can personally join them as well you can do more with your club in your district, and your son, why not? Get involved, talk to the Rotarians, make sure that you are collaborating with Rotary actors and Rotarians as well. Um, let's make sure that we're taking advantage of all the resources that Rotary provides for us to make, as I said, a bigger change in our communities. Fantastic. And just before we hear from Gina, I just want to remind everybody who's watching right now, please put any questions you have for our panelists uh, in the chat. I know we'd love to answer them and we'd love to um, talk more about um, what Interact means. Uh, and so now, Gina, what is your perspective? 
Well, the interactors are definitely what makes up the body of Interact as a whole, and you are what moves us, and you will be able to dictate your own experience. You dictate the, you dictate the experience of your fellow members and the people you will help. And in order to make our time in this organization more meaningful, we should be more united in the vision of local and international service. Let's help each other out in training and mentoring for creating projects for lasting change and expanding sustainably in the club, district, zone, or international level. And wherever you find in the org, just remember you are, you are an interactor. So sustainability is very important for a group such as ours. So let's grow organically and more purposefully and interact. Absolutely, that was amazing. Uh, and thank you to all of you for participating and being so open and so honest. Uh, Casey, I think we're gonna defer to you now. Yeah, hi everyone again. My name is Casey Jones. I'm the communication specialist on the Programs for Young Leaders team here at Rotary International. And I'm so grateful that you all joined us this morning. It looks like uh, we have a couple of questions about joining Interact. So I've gone ahead and in the chat, I've shared the web a website link that shares more information about how to join Interact. You can also contact us at youngleaders at rotary.org and I'll share that email in the chat as well. Otherwise, um, looks like we do have one question. It says, so what projects would you recommend for clubs who are just starting to establish themselves? So um, if a couple of you would like to answer, that'd be wonderful to share your insight. Yeah, um, yeah, go ahead, Sarvi, please. Uh, I can go ahead and start. Um, it's so super exciting to start a new Interact Club. And my number one tip for uh, starting out Interact Club would be to focus more on local issues that you see around you. Um, personally, for Interact Clubs that I've helped start out, um, they've been most successful in identifying issues that they see within their local community at the moment and reaching out to organizations that are either well known to them or ones that are based around them since it's easier to communicate with them and then work out a plan with that organization and how you're wanting to tackle your issue and as the years goes on and your interact club becomes more thriving um, you can definitely start branching out to issues that are larger than with just within your community um, and this way it just provides an easier building block for your club to make its way um, bigger and stronger to work on many issues Yeah, it's, you know. Yeah, well, I definitely agree. Um, it's there's really like nothing wrong with starting small, and um, yeah, as like a district uh, interact representative currently, um, I have worked like firsthand with you know starting new interact clubs or helping out um, you know presidents or officers that want to start a new interact club, and definitely if you you need to gauge where you are in the process of you know establish of establishing the group. Um, if you see that you guys are not ready for a project, you may want to look into fellowships. You may want to look into um, seminars or orientations, you know, before you want to start um, actually, actually going into projects and actually fundraising or actually doing donation drives. It is important to um, have a firm base, a firm foundation. Let your members know about the causes of Rotary International, the causes of Interact, um, let us um, let them know about, you know, what our aims are, what our goals are, the vision, the vision of our organization before we actually venture out to those projects, so that you know we may make we can make sure that we are um, set in that set in that correct direction for for projects in the future, and we may know what exactly what we're trying to do um, before before we actually put, before we actually put in the action action, yeah. Yeah, that's amazing. And just to just to add on to that, I know something that's been really useful in the past for me and for many interactors that I've worked with um, when they're starting a new club is to just learn from what other interact clubs in their district are doing. Uh, that's a huge part of it, making sure that they're engaging with other interact clubs, getting ideas, meeting with interact club presidents and other interact leadership uh, in the district and sort of the sponsor club, the sponsor rotary club being that resource who can provide those connections and those uh, relationships with other clubs because learning from one another is one of the key advantages that we have as an organization. We really need to utilize that uh, moving forward. Yeah, and yeah, any, any other thoughts from any other council members or? No? I'll say to look on Instagram in our club of whatever you put a city and see what everybody else is doing. And I've loved seeing 
in our clubs from all over the world doing stuff. And that's my number one way to get inspiration and to see what works and try what works for our club and see what doesn't work. And including fun, making sure that is fun and that tackles real needs are the two keys of a successful inner eye club, I think. Awesome, thank you all for your insight. We have two more questions. The first one is uh, wondering, how can Rotary International best help interact? Do any of you have any ideas about that support? Annie, go for it. Camille. Okay. <laughs> I think, you know, we have such a unique opportunity. Uh, I think we, as Rotary, we have such a unique opportunity with the only leaders and interact. There are a lot of things to be done to make sure that our program is even more impactful and more meaningful for young people. I think um, what the, what there are a lot. One of them, making sure that Rotary International from top, but top, down and bottom up. We're providing meaningful opportunities for leadership, for interactors, for all the Rotary Club presidents, district governors, and zone leaders that are here in this live. Make sure that you're including interactors in your leadership roles. And really, not just in social media, in all the committees that um, you might have. Um, there are a lot of things that to be done uh, upfront data and things that we need to work on, but making sure that we're providing meaningful opportunities for leadership for interactors is a big, big help. Yeah, absolutely. Annie said exactly what I wanted to say. Um, I think another big piece is this, exactly what we're doing right now with the Advisory Council, with the new Youth Advisory Council, and providing these opportunities for the people who are in these programs to provide direct uh, advice and direct decision-making um, authority in the execution of services that will help people who are enrolled in those programs. I think that's one of the other key ways to make sure that's being done by letting um, people who are in those programs lead the change and the development of um, helping them grow and making them better uh, and turning them into truly outstanding and global change-making uh, organizations and programs. Great, any more thoughts before we move on to the next question? Cool. Well, this next question is wondering um, if any of you have any recommendations for conducting international projects. I know many of you have some experience building relationships with other Interact clubs across the world. So would love to hear your experiences and insight for international projects. I can go ahead and start. Um, my Interact district is based in California. Um, and every year we work on one local and one international project. Um, and usually the, um, and we focus on that international project for the span of our interact year. So definitely there's a lot of planning that goes into it, but my biggest suggestion for the way that we um, happen to do our international projects would be that we first identify about a year earlier, which issue that we're wanting to tackle. Um, for example, this year we're working on water accessibility in Honduras. So what our district council representative for our interact district will do is reach out, first identify the issue that we're wanting to focus on, whether we already have a general idea or it might just be asking around what people are interested in. And from there, building off of that issue that you want to work towards, we'll either um, go to our sponsoring Rotary Clubs, because as we all know, Rotary has connections everywhere. Um, and a lot of times what will happen is we'll reach out to our Rotary Clubs who have connections with Rotary Clubs within that particular country. And then that'll be like our first bridge for communication. Um, and then from there, our Rotary Clubs can help give us the contacts to start for interactors to start communicating with their community. Um, and then from there, we'll start to um, identify organizations that are either based in that country or that are based here that work within that country. Um, and then maintain that regular stream of contact with that organization and have multiple meetings of brainstorming what the best um, mode of communication and impact we can produce. Um, and a lot of times for us, what that means is because obviously we can't always send interactors over to a different country to help work hands-on. 
Um, a lot of times our international focus will be on raising awareness on certain issues and the organizations that are helping combat those issues, as well as hosting a lot of fundraising opportunities to financially help those organizations. Um, and then in turn, we do get to see how those organizations use the money that we donate and bring a very solidifying and lasting impact on those communities, whether it be for water accessibility, um, developing more water um, specific resources in those communities. And then we get to see our Rotary Clubs go on site and see how those communities are being able to um, fruit off of those um, efforts that we've sent to them. So definitely a lot of planning and I would allocate a lot of time, but I would also use Rotary Clubs to your advantage when you're deciding to do an international project. Totally. Uh, Annie. Uh, the international side of Rotary is definitely my favorite. And I think one of the ways you do is, in, is utilizing Rotary's resources. Send an exchange student somewhere else. The Rotary exchange students, I can say it for myself, I was a Rotary exchange student in my club, my inner club in Venezuela and my inner club in the United States. We are twin clubs and we keep doing service projects together. So making sure that your club has an exchange student and your Rotary club is hosting an exchange student is a way to go for international projects. Also, there are a lot of international groups within Rotary International. If you're working about a specific project about water, you can reach out to the Rotary Action Group for Water, Sanitation, and Hygiene, the WASH. If you're working a project about peace, you can reach out to the Rotary Action Group for Peace. There are a lot of them, as well as fellowships. So making sure that we're using those, and there are groups, um, internet, uh, youth groups within Rotary, like multi-district information organizations for Interact or the Rotary Youth Network that is a platform that we started a couple of years ago that unites over 900 interactors, youth exchange students and RILA participants. Um, so that's a way to get involved internationally. Yeah, amazing. Uh, here. Yeah, I think Sulvi and Annie summarized it perfectly. Just adding on to that, what has worked for my club personally is contacting a lot of clubs through Instagram. So maybe you can just send them a DM about what you are doing, about what you're interested in, email them. Just start off with a lot of interact clubs, say 20, 25, and at least five will reach out to you, definitely. And maybe you can, as Survi mentioned, uh, tapping those interact clubs whose target audience and the kind of work they're doing is similar to, your, similar to yours. So maybe you can start off with that, and which can kind of lead on to twin clubs. Maybe you can have twinning meetings and maybe even form a twin club there. Uh, you do the similar you do similar projects in the future yeah that's amazing uh, i also have one thought something that i've seen recent uh uh interact clubs and rotary clubs participating in is interact clubs actually being engaged in the work of global grants that different rotary clubs um are applying to obviously interact clubs can't be official participants uh in the application process for a global grant but making sure that interactors are involved in the in, in the work that's done once once the funds are received and are sort of able to shadow the grant writing process is a really great way um to make sure clubs are involved in that sort of have can sort of see the large scale um of road international when it comes to international service and um and the scale and the breadth of the organization in that way is a really great resource as well thank you all so much for sharing we're nearing the end of our time this morning. So before I pass it back to you, Camille, to close us out, I just want to share one more resource with everyone who's joined us today. And uh, for those of you who are looking to expand your projects and interact, start new ones, or um, really just getting your footing, we do have some courses and workbooks in the My Rotary Learning Center on service learning. And service learning combines community service with learning objectives to really uh, drive that leadership development in youth. So. Highly recommend whether you're a new Interact Club season, wherever you are in your Interact journey, that you access those resources in the Learning Center. And you are able to make an account on MyRotary um, once you're 16. So it's available for uh, youth as well as Interact Advisors. I want to thank everyone again for joining us to celebrate World Interact Week and Rotaract, or Rotaract, excuse me, Interact's birthday, which is on Saturday, November 5th. And I will pass it back to you, Camille, to close us out. 
Awesome. Uh, thank you all on the live right now for joining us. And thank you to all of our wonderful panelists. Um, I am honored to have the opportunity to work with all these wonderful, amazing people. Uh, and we hope you enjoy the rest of World Interact Week. To continue the celebrations, we invite you to visit the Interact 60th anniversary page to share your Interact story. The page will launch on Interact's birthday, which you just heard is November 5th. Um, so make sure to stay tuned. And also, we encourage all Interact clubs to submit a video, essay, or photo to the annual Interact Awards by December 1st. You can find more details for both opportunities here on the Interact Facebook page. And to close out our chat, let us share some birthday wishes for Interact. Everyone, please join us in the chat by saying happy birthday, Interact, in your native language. Thank you again, everyone, and we will see you soon.